Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use forms to enable your users to create and edit their own content in your app. So for example, in this trip planning app, we've got a home screen that lists off the types of trips that users can take, either relaxation or adventure. And if we look on relaxation, we can see there's one trip in here to St. Thomas. We want to have a way for users to create their own trips in this category. So to do that, we need to add a form. To add a form, you click on the plus button in the left toolbar here, and then scroll down to the forms and fields section, and then simply drag a form onto your screen. Just like that. Once you've added the form to your screen and you've got it selected in the left panel, the first thing you need to do is select which data collection this form is for. So in this case, it's going to be for trips. Now you can see that this form is set up to create a new trip and that it's automatically added the fields for everything we need to know about a trip, its name, its description, and its image. And if we expand the field section here in the left panel, you can see that, and you can even customize what fields are appearing on the form. So we've got name, description, image. You can remove any of those uh, like that, or you can add it back. You can also uh, drag to resort. And then you can customize how these fields appear. You can customize the label text, the placeholder, and depending on the type of field it is, you can change um, the format of the field as well. Now, the next thing you notice here is that there's actually a couple of sections within fields here. We've got fields that are on the form, and then we have things that are set automatically. So trips have two other properties, the creator, which is a reference to the user collection, and the trip type, which is relaxation or adventure, like I showed before. And what this form is set up to do is to have those two properties of this new trip record that's going to be created be set automatically. And so this is set so that the creator is set to be the logged in user automatically, and that the trip type is set to be the current trip automatically. So that way, the user doesn't have to select the trip they're creating is a relaxation trip or an adventure trip because the form is smart enough to know which category the user was already in. So let's take a look at, at how that works. If we preview our app here and click on relaxation, I can now click the plus button. It's going to take me to that new trip screen and I can see my form and we can add a new trip. We'll have this one be to Hawaii. And I'll just fill out the form here and choose a good photo. And once I've selected my Hawaiian photo, I can then uh, submit the form as well. There we go. And now I'm going to create the trip. And now you can see that I just submitted the form but there's a problem. I'm still on the new trip screen, and what I really wanted to have happen was for me to go back as soon as I created that new trip. And so if I close the previewer, you can see here if I go to the submit button section of the form that there's an action on the submit button to create the trip, but I need to add another action, which is to link back. Almost every form you're going to have, you're going to want to have the form link back to the previous screen as soon as the user submits the form. You'll also notice here that I can customize the button. So it says create trip by default, which is great, but I can add different text if I want. I can also edit the styles of the button, changing its shape and color and shadow and borders and all that kind of stuff. And similarly on the fields, I can edit their styles as well. So if I want them to be a little more round, for example, I can do that. So now we've got a way for users to create their own trips. But what if I want users to be able to edit an existing trip? So let's run the preview again and look at where we might want to add that. So again, if I click into relaxation and I click into this Hawaii trip, you can see that I can see all the details for that trip. And here I've got this edit link. And so that's going to take me over to this edit trip screen. And so to give users a way to edit the trip, Again, I'm going to add a form. So I'm going to click the plus button in the left toolbar, scroll down to forms and fields, and drag in a form. And just like before, I'm going to connect this form to my trips collection. But here where it says, what do you want the form to do? Instead of leaving it saying, create a new trip, I'm going to change this to say, update current trip. 
because this edit trip screen knows that we're linking from the trip of uh, Hawaii, like we were viewing before, or whatever trip the user had selected from the list, um, this form as well knows that there's a current trip that can be updated. So again, we can customize anything with the fields, but we'll leave everything uh, like we had by default. Um, actually, what I'm going to do here in this edit screen, instead of letting the trip type be something that's set automatically, I'm going to add this to uh, the fields on the form. So now you can see a couple of things here. One is this uh, trip type was added, and because this trip type is a relationship to our trip types collection, you can see this is actually a drop down that users will get to pick in the form. The other thing that you'll see that happen is because the form got longer, it actually got longer than the screen itself. So I can fix that by clicking on the name of this screen and then uh, dragging it to make it just a little bigger so I can see the full form when I'm designing. Now, let's select the form again. And the last thing we need to do here is just like before, we wanna add another action so that after the form is submitted, we're going to go ahead and link the user back to the trip details screen. So now let's see it in action. So if I click preview, we'll start up the app. I'll click on relaxation and then we'll click on Hawaii. And if I click this edit button now, it's going to take me to that edit trip screen. And now you can see this edit form. And what this lets me do is a couple of things. You'll notice that it pre-populates all the forms, all the fields on the form with the existing data. So if I want to make a change, I can just add something here and then click on update trip. And now it's linked me back and you can see the updated description for that trip. So that's it. That's how you can use forms to give your users the ability to create their own content in their app, as well as edit existing content.